George A. Romero was nearly the director of the first Marvel Comics adaptation in the 80s. Here's the story. Shortly before his passing in 2017, horror cinema icon George Romero spoke to the creators of Untold Horror about some of his famous unmade projects. One that drew a lot of attention was Copperhead, a movie he had been developing in the early 80s as a collaboration with Marvel Comics. Long before superhero movies had begun their domination of the entertainment industry, comic book films were considered something of a novelty. DC made some headway with Superman, but Marvel was struggling to gain a cinematic foothold. Cult hero George Romero, director of Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, approached the company sometime around 1984 with the idea of creating what could have been their very first film. Copperhead. The movie has sometimes been misreported as being based on a pre-existing Marvel character, but Romero's version is actually an original creation, born mostly out of necessity. The director was interested in making a big commercial film based on a comic book character, but he couldn't afford to license any of the famous ones so he made up his own. Copperhead, both comic and film, were developed at the same time, with the plan being to release both simultaneously. Two artists, straight from the Marvel staff, Bob Layton and Jackson Guise, were hired to create concept art. Layton posted pieces of their work to his blog in 2005, and wrote that the film was basically going to be Robocop and Terminator before either even existed. The hero is described as a soldier who is turned into a futuristic cyborg sheriff in post-apocalyptic Philadelphia. The film was planned as an origin story, following Copperhead as he rebels against his fascist creators to lead an underground uprising. Possibly the full title was going to be either Copperhead Conquers the Warhawks or Mongrel The Legend of Copperhead, probably with the intention of setting up a franchise. Layton recalled that Romero's wild and ambitious vision for the film involved ninjas, mad scientists, and an action scene where the hero actually uses a horse as a weapon. The film turned out to be a little too elaborate and costly to secure financing. Many of Romero's projects during this time ran into similar problems, including his planned adaptation of Stephen King's The Stand, which you can learn more about here. Copperhead was put on hold so Romero could make Day of the Dead. After that film underperformed at the box office, it basically derailed plans for Copperhead. Neither the film nor the comic appears to have ever seen the light of day. The first Marvel adaptation, of course, turned out to be Howard the Duck in 1986.